My name is Tara. I am co-owner of Community Grounds. I'm Joel. I'm a co-owner of Community Grounds. Joel actually wanted to open a coffee shop for a long time. I think maybe even you thought of it before we were together, even. Mm -hmm. Just like a mention in the future sort of thing. And we live in this neighborhood. This is our neighborhood. And there started to be some chatter about there not being a coffee shop. And while we were not planning on opening <laughs> one at that time, the community yeah. spoke and we listened and we thought it's time. And mm -hmm. we certainly wanted to invest here. And what brought us to this neighborhood to start with uh, was who's now one of our good friends, Alan Carroll. We lived just a quarter of a mile away and we're looking to move and I heard about him and all the great things that were happening here so I walked over to the neighborhood once to to meet him to see him to see what it was about and we loved it and so we planted roots here When it comes to coffee, obviously we're, we're a coffee shop, so we have some stuff from Grounds for Thought up in Bowling Green, and our roaster here in town is Brioso. We use their espresso beans. They, they kind of helped us perfect how to pull espresso shots. So when you come in here, you, we have a nice space here on Parsons Avenue. You'll know that you'll get um, very high quality uh, drinks. Uh, uh, you may see some film of me kind of pulling shots and I'm very particular about how everything is measured uh, perfectly. Uh, so we, we always make sure that whatever we're providing to somebody, it's a great uh, experience. One thing that I think makes us different that is in process now and that we're excited about, Joel's family is from Puerto Rico. One of the things that we noticed is that there's not a lot of Puerto Rican coffee offerings, really very few. So we realized that we had to do some digging to make that happen, but that is one of the things that we're bringing to the space is learning more about the different options and what we can do with them and we started off by just pulling in three different uh, Puerto Rican coffees. We had one that really, that really stuck out that people were asking for, that were really cool, and so now we're continuing to work to bring that unique thing to the space and learn more about it ourselves. Once again, I think it comes back to that same thing that we keep arriving back to is really just lifting up all kinds of different things and people and places. I want someone to walk into the mercantile and you know, not everything speaks to everybody and I hope that something does. One of the things we do, I've been trying to create here is have a picture of each small business owner, each entrepreneur mm -hmm. here and a little bit about their story so that you can learn more about what is happening here. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are in the space, one of the things that we've had for a long time is our robots, our little, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that are, each one is unique. Uh, yeah. they're, they're made out of blocks of wood by yeah. Eric. And yeah. we even have a local real estate agent and friend, oh, yeah. Allison, <laughs> and she comes to buy a robot and she takes one to each closing yeah. and gives it to their family for their new home, which is cool. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think is really important to mention about our suspended program as Joel said, we never turn anybody away. During the pandemic, mm -hmm. that got a little bit harder because we're really fighting to keep our own heads above water as a business. And at the same time, people are struggling more. So then we started getting more suspension requests. And so we are so thankful that every mm -hmm. time we've reached out to our community mm -hmm. and said, hey, we could use some more suspensions, we could use some more people uh, suspending things for people in need, the community has responded every time and it's because of them that throughout the pandemic we've been able to keep that program sustainable. Mm -hmm.
Community Grounds Coffee and Meeting House.